This is Dr. Sheldon Wu. I'm the director of Asian Studies program at the University of Tennessee. I'm also an associate professor of modern Chinese history in the history department. To the Vall family, have you ever wanted to take Asian languages or perhaps to study and to travel in Asia? It's one of the most culturally rich and economically vibrant regions in the world. And if you're interested in studying further, here at UT, we offer a number of options. You can take courses in sociology or religion, history, or advanced language training in Chinese and Japanese. With your degree in Asian studies, you can go for further study in Asia or perhaps work here in Tennessee for Asian companies. We offer a number of options for you to explore, so please check out our website or maybe like us on Facebook. And here is Dr. Noriko Horiguchi to talk further about study abroad opportunities in Japan. Hello, this is Dr. Noriko Horiguchi. I'm the chair of the Japanese program and also an associate professor of Japanese literature and culture at UT. UT offers many different opportunities for students to study abroad for a summer, for a semester, or for a year. Among them, there are faculty-led programs abroad, and I offer a summer program in Japan with a focus on popular culture. In popular culture, we explore different genres such as tourism, cuisine, sports, fashion, music, fiction and film that include manga and anime. In exploring these different genres of popular culture, you will engage in various activities. One, you will personally interact with producers and consumers of cultural industry. And two, you will physically interact with tangible cultural products and artifacts. And three, you will critically analyze signs and symbols and metaphors and allegories in Japan. By engaging in these activities, you will come to understand social, economic, and political problems facing Japan. These problems include work, that includes foreign workers, race and ethnicity, gender and sexuality, marriage and family, low birth rate, and aging society in Japan. Exploring Japan through the lens of popular culture in this way has been a transformative experience for many students. Some went on to further their studies, not only in Asian studies, but also in other fields, and pursue their academic and professional careers in teaching, in foreign service and diplomacy, and also in private corporations. Here in Tennessee, there are many internship and job opportunities at Japanese companies. In fact, Japan is the largest foreign investor in the state of Tennessee, and the Japanese language major is the highest paying humanities major in 2019, according to Forbes and Business Insider. This is because of the knowledge and the skills students cultivate in Japanese studies and Asian studies. You will gain a broader perspective, deeper understanding of people from different cultures and backgrounds, and the stronger critical and analytical thinking skills in resolving problems. So I hope you consider Asian studies as part of your academic career at UT. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us.